And Stana is an infrastructure and application monitoring solution that is installed on the host and automatically discovers and monitors over 100 technology stacks. This is our demo environment where Instana is installed. We can see a database zone running in EC2 where one of the nodes has MySQL running. We have another zone where we're monitoring Lambda and Elastic Beanstalk. We have a search cluster that is running Elasticsearch and the Kubernetes cluster where we are installed on all the hosts and automatically discover the technology stacks that we're running. In this case, we have a machine running in Google Cloud that has six Docker containers, one Apache web server, one process, a Redis node, and four Spring Boot applications. We can hover on top of the different layers and see what they are or click open a dashboard and drill down to a specific layer, in this case, a Spring Boot application. Here we can see our automatic discovery and monitoring. From the host, we discovered the Kubernetes node, discovered the Kubernetes pod, the Docker container, the process, the JVM, and the Spring Boot application. We're gonna peel the layers back and see the monitoring information of the JVM, of the JVM process running in the container, performance information of the Docker container, including the container labels and the Kubernetes labels, the Kubernetes pod, the node and its performance information, as well as conditions that we're monitoring. We can alert and get notified if one of these conditions trip. And we can also see the host monitoring information. In the infrastructure view, if we have an alert on a host or an object, we can hover on top of it, open the dashboard, or drill down to the issue itself. In this case, we can see that CPU still time exceeds 5% too often, which seems to be a reoccurring problem. For this machine, it is probably recommended to allocate more than one CPU. This was a quick infrastructure example. Let's switch to the application perspective. From the list of applications here, we'll choose our demo shop application. The application has been experiencing some errors. A quick view to our dependencies shows us the flow of traffic between the services. Since we had errors, we can look at error messages, log messages, and can drill down and see the traces that gave us the error messages or log messages. In this case, we look at traces that gave us the message Elasticsearch cluster not healthy. We'll choose one of these traces and look at the trace details. We can see the time spent in different endpoints and services, as well as the call details. We can also see a sequential view of the calls and look at every call in the sequence. For every call, we can see the infrastructure that processed it, as well as additional information. We can see the caller details, the call lead details, as well as the stack trace. In this case, when we were checking the Elasticsearch health, we got a response that the cluster is not healthy. Within Stana, you can monitor end-user experience with your site. End-user experience is monitored using JavaScript injection. You can see views, errors, onload time, locations, occurrences, and affected users for JavaScript errors, top pages by views, onload time, and errors. You can get additional information about navigation timing, loaded resources, and their retrieval time. And in our case, since there were a lot of JavaScript errors, let's investigate this error message. We can get additional information, including analyzing the JavaScript error. We can get all the traces that have this error, see the page view from the end user's perspective, the error that was received, additional information about the user, operating system, browser, location, as well as the retrieval time of all the components on that page. If we had a backend latency issue, we can click on view backend trace and see how the trace was processed in the backend. This gives us end-to-end -end tracing from the end user all the way to the backend. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much for your time.